have some new tables that are from a factory in Mexico with reclaimed lumber. And this is true reclaimed lumber out of buildings that were torn down. So it's, it has all these characteristics and these worm holes from live wood, uh, worms actually eating into the wood. Now on the backs of these, we do have a disclaimer that explains that. And you can read it. However, uh, the bottom line is this wood has been um, cut down for years and years and years. So it has been used in buildings uh, for 100 years and then torn down. Now, because of that, we process the lumber, cut it, glue it back up, process it, and make these beautiful tables. However, all the holes in this wood, it's very hard to keep all the wood dust and uh, sawdust out of these holes. So we put them on a container, we ship it from Guadalajara, Mexico um, on, on a truck, and it bounces all the way here. What happens is, in the transportation, in the box, when you get it, it has sawdust in the box as you can see. Now this is true sawdust. As you can see, it's very grainy from sawdust. Now when people first see this coming out of these boxes of these tables, they assume that it has powder post beetles. However, powder post beetles go into live wood, green wood, and lay their larvae. The larva stays in that wood, whether you cut it down or whatever, for 7 to 14 years. Keep in mind, we talked about this wood came out of buildings that were 100 years old. So powder post beetles have long gone. Powder post beetles eat their way out of the lumber or wood. They go back towards green and live wood somewhere else. They do not go back into dead wood, especially finished dead wood. So they don't go back into the wood. So this lumber has been treated with pesticides, um, or fumigated, I should say, not treated, but uh, fumigated before it's ever cut and made into these tables. Now again, in the finishing process or manufacturing process, you cut the lumber, you glue it back up, and this whole process traps sawdust in all these holes. We spray finishing material that also seeps into holes and stops the holes up, and then in transportation it all comes loose, which causes the grainy sawdust in the cartridge. However, I can assure you that there is no live bugs 